Salk Institute researcher Tony Hunter's many discoveries, including his groundbreaking work in tyrosine kinase, have paved the way for dozens of cancer therapies around the world. His work on cancer research is why Mr. Hunter is a recipient of this year's Tong Prize Award in Biopharmaceutical Science. Yeah, obviously, I'm delighted to have been recognized uh, with this um, prize in um, biopharmaceutical science. It's um, a recognition of the work we did in trying to uncover the basic mechanisms uh, underlying cancer, and in particular the work we did in discovering this new type of enzyme, the tyrosine kinase, that has proved to be very important in several types of human cancer and is now a target for, for several drugs mm -hmm. that are used to, to treat cancer. In 1979, Mr. Hunter became the first scientist to discover a mechanism called tyrosine phosphorylation, which is a molecular switch that turns normal cells cancerous. His discovery led to a better understanding of cell activity and growth. As he continued to discover other ways in which cells use chemical additions to proteins to control their growth, the UK-born researcher says he looked to find potential therapeutic targets for cancers. We stumbled on tyrosine kinases back in 1979, so nearly 40 years ago, mm -hmm. working with um, two different types of uh, viruses that cause cancer in animals. It was exciting to find that two, these two different viruses apparently used the same mechanism for making a cancer cell. So I would say it took about five years or so before we really, I think, appreciated how important this was going to be. We couldn't immediately have predicted that we would, 40 years later, be using drugs against tyrosine kinases. The harm caused by traditional cancer treatments, such as chemotherapy, led Mr. Hunter to focus on designing drugs that target molecular behavior. I mean, for many years, surgery and radiation and chemotherapy have been the mainstays of cancer research. And um, they're both pretty, I mean, surgery, if it's successful, is, is great. But radiation and chemotherapy are both pretty devastating to the body. They do a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. And so we felt if you could design a molecularly targeted drugs that you should you would do a lot less damage mm -hmm. and perhaps be even more effective. Mr. Hunter's findings subsequently led to the this development is, of breakthrough uh, therapies that conquer one of the most devastating diseases facing humanity today. In the, uh, March this year, he was also the awarded the Pescolar AACR International Award for extraordinary achievement in cancer research.